Today, I'm gonna show you how to blow out a water line. Hey guys, welcome to Backyard Maine. We're all things DIY and today is no exception. Last April, I ran a 120 foot underground water supply out to our garden. We used it all summer and it worked out great. If you wanna watch that video next, you can check it out in the description down below. So when I installed that water line, I dug the trench by hand. Um, I only dug it about 12 to 18 inches deep and that's deep enough to protect it from physical damage, but it's not deep enough to protect it from freezing. Well, as you can tell by these fall decorations behind us, we're now in the middle of October, and it's time to prep that water supply for winter. So this process here is almost the same as blowing out your lawn sprinkler system, except for in this case, we just have one valve we need to open. And All right, guys, let's take a look at the setup here. It's really quite simple. I have this little uh, cobalt air compressor um, it's rated at 125 PSI max, 4.3 gallons. It doesn't really have enough volume, I don't believe. So I've got it connected up to this uh, seven gallon air tank as well, just to get a little bit more volume. So we basically just come out of the air compressor here into the air tank, out of the air tank, and up here to the water line. So here, I bought this little adapter. Um, it was like $18 on Amazon. It has this nifty little valve, which will come in handy. And it just connects right up to a hose uh, connection. So I'm gonna start out at 120, 125 pounds, the compressor capacity. I think it should be fine. My pipe in the ground is rated for in excess of 200 pounds. So I don't think I'm going to have a problem with that. So if you're blowing out your lines, just know what the uh, system uh, pressure capacity is and don't exceed that. All right, the compressor's charged up. Let's give it a go. All right, well, quite a bit of water came out. Um, the compressor's charged back up. Let's hit it again. Okay, let's let the compressor catch back up and we'll hit it again. So an important step that you don't want to forget is to cover this back up. So I've got the cap back on there and I picked up these little plastic caps here and we're going to screw those on to the hose ends. That way no rainwater or snow melt water gets back into the system. We'll go do that to the other side. That was pretty quick and easy. The compressor and the tank worked just fine. I think we got all the water out of the system and it won't freeze this winter, so we should be good to go in the spring. So if you're still here with me and you enjoyed this video, you might want to check out one of these videos next. Have a great day.